The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. As always, we like to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. What do we have going on today? Well, a little bit of sell the news, which is what I thought this morning in the newsletter, but not enough to get me interested to dish yet. But we do have a nice condition setting up, which is uh, this thrust higher. Uh, of course, the first thing we want to do is see what happened with the volume. We got about 4.2 billion shares right now, which is not all that exciting. But at the same time, it's not three and a half billion shares. So is it tepid? Yes. Is it horrible? No. So I don't think we have the signal just yet. Um, the rollover has been kind of slow. I also suspect a lot of people are shorting uh, today into a thin market. And of course, with, op uh, with uh, fund buying the next couple of days, uh, my guess is that they will get squeezed out come Wednesday uh, or maybe even Friday uh, if they choose to hang. Uh, but uh, is it bad? The answer is no. Uh, but uh, man, trying to short during fund buying, trying to short during the end of the month, uh, trying to short into light volume into a, a three or four or five day weekend is kind of tough. I'll be leaving on vacation for Wednesday, be back next week. Uh, newsletters will continue as always. But uh, the thing is just, you know, do you want to get into a thin market once again? And I have a feeling a lot of people are probably a little silly uh, if they're short more than a few hours. Uh, and, you know, I think we're going to continue to see a bunch of little short squeezes before the end of the week. Uh, but again, are we going to go break out 3,000 on the S&P 500? Certainly does not look like that today. We'd have to have some kind of deal announced that we have it. All we've had is kind of a reduce, a reduction in tensions between world leaders. Uh, and that's about it. No real news coming this week. No real earnings coming this week. Uh, lighter of volume almost uh, guaranteed other than the fact that we've got a little bit of fun buying. Uh, and... Uh, you know, generally the the big men on Wall Street are not about uh, to uh, ruin the party by uh, selling whole hog into highs uh, during fund buying either. They want to make sure that every one of those funds is able to buy at the absolute highest price. As they say on Wall Street, never give a sucker an even break. And uh, I think they actually said that uh, Barman Bailey. I think said that, but yeah, all appropriate, appropriate it. Okay, so what else do we have? We'll look at a lot of charts today, some other stuff, but kind of weak, not much going into uh, next week. Uh, maybe the week after that, we got at least a little financial, some of the other ones starting to report. When we look at some of the other big indicators, uh, that if I literally everybody I heard told me that the dollar was going lower. Uh, come Friday's close, uh, up uh, about 73 cents as we speak, $96.39. Uh, and, of course, uh, as someone brought up uh, in the den earlier in the morning, uh, the uh, business in the TLT uh, may be one of the most crowded trades of all time right now, uh, or at least in the bonds. Uh, and you want to keep a close eye on that because it could really, really move the market. Over the weekend, we did find some news articles that said that the Saudis have now become the number one buyer of bonds. And maybe that's put a little bit of downside on the TLT uh, today. Don't know. I wanted to bring up yet another uh, stock that uh, has been a 
a good mover. I haven't made a lot of money off of it. Uh, made some, but not enough. Uh, but uh, I remember that when the tariff issues came up, the thing went down about 30 bucks, and everybody was telling me how the end of the world was coming. Uh, we'll look at that stock. A uh, little uh, spoiler here. The end of the world did not come. Um, I think you're going to have a fairly cl uh, clear signal when the end of the world does occur. And it won't be uh, muted. It won't be subtle. It'll be everybody will pretty much know right off that they're stuck in uh, these stocks at highs, but will refuse to act almost as all highs come in. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, that's about it. Let's do a little history, and then we'll get on to some charts. P.T. Barnum. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1997, Hong Kong reverts back to the Chinese rule in a ceremony attended by British Prime Minister Tony Blair, uh, Prince of uh, Wales, Mr. Charles, uh, Chinese President uh, Zhang Ziming, and Secretary of State uh, Madeleine Albright. Oh, boy, wasn't she horrible. Uh, a few thousand Hong uh, Kongers protested the turnover, which was otherwise celebratory and peaceful. Uh, at that time, uh, we had gotten, I think, maybe 30 employees in the, in the previous three years that had left Hong Kong to go hide out in uh, Canada. Uh, very good at uh, both engineering and production. So we got a lot of uh, very high-talented um, folks. Uh, by 1999, 2000, um, they were all hightailing it back, thinking that they'd messed up. But uh, I think if they were sitting there today uh, wondering what they gave their kids, uh, with China now able to at any time extradite anybody they want uh, without any kind of hearing, means that uh, Hong Kong has had the giant thumb of the Chinese put on it. Of course, uh, some protests today will do little or nothing, as uh, many of the guilty men, like Tony Blair and Madeleine Albright, sold the folks down the river. But they don't have a river in Hong Kong, but uh, I'm sure they have a saying for the same thing, uh, when everybody just gave up and decided to give up and capitulate on this day in 1997. Uh, <laughs> okay, everybody's having a little fun at my uh, end of the world. It's just, man, it's been the last two weeks of just been trying to uh, talk to, to about half the people in America who are, are literally convinced that the end is nigh. Uh, but, uh, and what can you say? Uh, selling fear, I guess, works. But uh, not right now. <laughs> You're darn near at the highs of the stock market, and you can't, uh, well, it certainly didn't get slammed down. Uh, you didn't have a massive rejection of higher price. I think you had a lot of people that just sold the news today, but that's about it. In the meantime, we're going to go to break. When we come back, I'm looking for your phone call at 877-927-6648. should hear the music, but I don't. There it is. Okay, be back in a minute. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Don't miss the last chance to sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner at just $97 a month. Starting July 1st, we're raising the price to $197 a month. This is your last chance to lock in the $97 rate for as long as you remain a subscriber. And as always, new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk. Don't miss this last chance to sign up at the low rate of just $97 a month. Sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-6618. And we're back. Um, to, 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 quick look. Eh, up 13 and a half points on the SP cash. Dow's up 35. Nasdaq's up 63. Russell's flat on the day. Uh, when we look, a uh, question about gold. Um, I haven't really been paying that much to it. Everybody seems to be embroiled with it. Um, so I haven't spent a lot of time. Um, you got a pullback of about 25 bucks today. 1350 mm, kind of looks like that would be support um, the way I look at it, uh, which is fairly decent pullback off the highs, but eh. Tough to see right now. Um, I'm looking at some stocks that are doing fairly well and uh, more on the tech side of stuff. So I haven't spent a lot of time on those. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we're through all those. I went through the first ones. <laughs> okay. I um, want to look at a handful of stocks today to see if there's anything going on with them. Advanced auto parts, uh, this thing had been finding support at about 149. Very nice spike today up to about 158.45. Gave a little of that back. Again, uh, as we said, a lot of these stocks are just... Um, in more uh, triangle patterns of uh, lower highs and higher lows. Um, I'm looking or will be looking tonight for those stocks that uh, broke out higher out of that range and possibly did it on lighter volume and pull back into the trading range. Generally, uh, <clears throat> stocks that have been going sideways like that for a while, first a break out to the wrong side uh, before they uh, break out, uh, before they show the true um, path of least resistance. Let's see if there's anything else out in here. Um, Adtran, we talked about this one last week, uh, still looks rather interesting from a, a just a pure uh, chart perspective. Uh, ADTN is up on, was that uh, April 18th with 2 million shares. Got back in uh, to that candle, very base of it, 
on Friday with uh, 258,000 shares. Today, just 170,000 shares. So not a lot of selling pressure in that one. Uh, AMAT also on my list of things. Um, this has gone back into this huge uh, gap down from, what is that, uh, July 18th, no, August 18th. Try it one more time. August 17th of 2018, down on uh, 52 and a half million shares that day, got into it with 10 million shares on April 25th, went back into that gap today, pretty much filled it and came out. And if you're thinking <clears throat> that the SMHs uh, are right for selling off, I don't know if you can make that case. I think you can make a case, though. Uh, that certainly the upside is extremely limited for stocks like applied material with all the people that had been going long into that that basically have spent a lot of time in the desert wandering like Moses. I got my Moses reference in today. That'll be an extra $5. APO, Apollo Global Management. Uh, this one just ticked over the May 2nd high of 34.23. That had 3 million shares. Uh, doing it today with 1.3 million shares so far. See, da, da, da. there's anything else on my list here that I wanted to take a look at. CZZ. Uh, uh, Cosan Limited, CZZ is the symbol on this one. Uh, up on March 21st to $13.18 with 2 million shares. Uh, up with 600,000 shares. Looks like it's going to close back in the trading range. Uh, Diebold, uh, we talked about this one being one of the better looking stocks in the market last week. Uh, testing its 2.5 million share low for May 2nd. That was $8.70 uh, with 2.5 million shares. Test it with 1.5 million shares. Closed back into the trading range. Nice little pop. Today, I don't know if it's a change in trend. Certainly looked like it had uh, exhausted the move lower. Uh, stocks that really uh, are starting to kind of break out here today, and you watch watch closely. Electronic Arts uh, back above the $100 mark, uh, just hanging out. Not a lot of juice so far. Um, you've got about 2 million shares. The last time you had a huge move uh, was on May 8th with 17.5 million shares. Um, March 21st, uh, 9.5 million shares at 105. So, you know, you're back into the pretty high highs here without a lot of juice. Now, with light volume, you want to make sure that all the shorts are out. And that means that you're looking for probably an interdate spike of about five bucks in electronic arts to run them. If that uh, spikes gives it all up, then maybe you have an opportunity where the weak candid shorts are out of it and may give you a chance if you're thinking, if you're a little froggy on that one and thinking that it's going south. Uh, do, 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 what else did we have? Uh, fizz kind of came to mind. Uh, this one, uh, let's do this here. Do, 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 do. I need my little music. I'm not exactly sure why. Huh. Doesn't seem like it likes that one. Nope. All right. Let's see if that, that was it. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, put that back up. And see, okay. Now we go back to this. Okay. And get it reset. There we go. National Beverage Company. Um, $44.60 on May 31st. We went down to $40.05 on Thursday last week. Um, 
it's back into the trading range. We were talking about this one uh, and whether or not it could hold this $42 range. Let's go ahead and load back up my scans. We can go back through them. Uh, let's see what else is on the list. Fizzled away, yeah. Okay. We're talking about Netgear. Yeah, we're going to go to break. Anyway, I'm having internet issues. Hopefully they'll be gone when we come back. Uh, what do we got uh, here as we go to break? Yeah, up 11 and a half points on the SBK. of least resistance is david white's daily trading newsletter and if you're looking for active trading ideas then now is a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service david uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his path of least resistance newsletter using a combination of equity trades along with options david keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're having a little discussion in the den. And uh, a lot of people, you know, when you're typing, it's hard to give a 500-word treaty when you really want to discuss something but it no it's just been that not that the market goes up and down but it's the end of the world uh or the opposite massive euphoria and what i've seen over the last few weeks is this the massive end of the world kind of thought and from 
people that probably should know better on financial infotainment TV and others. Um, I don't know. I don't want to. Nothing really changed over the weekend, so I'm not going to be a Pollyanna about it. But at the same time, uh, there's always just uh, an incredible, incredible drumbeat of the uh, just the end of the world. Markets go higher, markets go lower, um, and uh, I, I I think when you get focused on one side, the bull or the bear side, too much. Not saying that you did. I'm just saying that many people uh, in the media have, and you probably had a lot of people going short going into Friday, thinking that uh, all hell was going to come loose. And at the same time today, you've got a lot of people going, well, why didn't it go to the moon? Because they were euphoric. And anything, any sell-off is verboten. Um, but I, I think if we just calm down, especially into this longer weekend, we're going to start seeing a trend develop. And uh, we'll see something more. But I didn't see any ev evidence that the stock was going to, the market was going to blow out the, you know, 3,000 today. Nor did I see a lot of evidence that was going to blow out 2,900 today before it started. And, uh, you know, I'm not one to play five or 10 minutes or 20 minute charts. I'm more thinking, you know, days to, to weeks and months. Uh, but uh, you just don't, as far as I can tell you, you don't have a lot of signals. And it seems like the less signals there are, the more people yell on TV and in the media about what everything means. And uh, yeah, like Sigmund Freud said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. It's just the market. Don't get too wound up on everything else. But I think a lot of people are, let me put it that way. I think a lot of people are, are looking at the market going higher and say it's high, so it's only going to go higher. Everybody else is saying that short is just dying for any kind of pullback in the market, saying it's a victory. And uh, neither one of them really, if we want to look at the, the difference from Friday, if we had zero news today, would think anything about it. Uh, everybody wants to put uh, meaning into something that a lot of time has no meaning whatsoever. T-Mobile uh, getting ready to launch their 5G uh, system uh, around many places, not here in in uh, Pinellas County quite yet. Um, they've got a much bigger system planned here, uh, but uh, I think five or six major cities are already. Uh, did T-Mobile did test the May 31st low that was seventy three dollars twenty eight cents with five million shares uh, on Thursday with four point four million shares not a huge pullback got a little pop out today with no volume at all either uh, and of course more volume on the way down off that June thirtieth uh, and again uh, everything isn't going to the moon and everything isn't going to hell in a handbasket uh, there are enough stocks to tell you uh, normally what I see, which is more than anything else, a sector rotation. Uh, probably going to see new leadership develop between now and Christmas. Uh, and it's only, you know, generally uh, stocks will outperform the market maybe two, maybe three years, and then they revert to the mean. And I think what you should be looking at today and in the coming months is just that. Where are the new stock leaderships going to be? Is it still just going to be Microsoft and Amazon and the rest? Uh, my theory is that uh, many issues, including legal uh, and political issues, will come into play for the biggest stocks. People will start moving their money elsewhere, uh, and you'll find that. Uh, we were talking about tractor supply on Friday, uh, going into the close of the show, April 25th, 107.98. And that had uh, 3.8 million shares. I wanted to see what it did today. Did break through the high, 573,000 shares. So not a rousing endorsement. Uh, even on Friday, it had 1.2 million shares. But the last kind of major highs out here were a million. Uh, again, we're not seeing a lot of blowouts to the upside nor to the downside. But not uncommon in the summer without a lot of earnings uh, coming in the next few weeks and without a lot of financial data to move the market either. I think we could see a lot of these false breaks to the upside and the downside in various stocks. Uh, to, to. OK, 
Okay. And Amazon, it's up a little bit. Um, I thought this thing could probably get back up uh, on a real trade deal to 20, uh, 2050, which is that September 4th high. It certainly looks like it's going after it. Right now, you have about the same energy on the way up on the same as the energy on the way down. So your next uh, level here is May 3rd. It's high of 1964 with 6 million shares. Uh, today, we're doing about 2.4 million shares. But again, you're getting back in or very close to the start of the fall season, uh, Christmas and all that stuff. I don't think you're going to see a lot of people dumping Amazon, even though maybe it's probably a good time to do so. So when you can, not when you have to. Walmart, uh, another little pop today again probably thinking that at least with no more tariffs, there's not a lot of new news, uh, but basically back to flat on Friday. Uh, to, 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 what else do we have? I wanted to look at this one and I can't remember why. Reality Holdings, and eh, didn't really do anything, did it? Let's take a quick look at Microsoft MSFT. It had a nice bounce this morning, although nothing really changed for them. Them and China do next to nothing in business. Uh, you did gap higher with 13.7 uh, million shares so far. Gave a lot of that back. You're just back into this big candle down that came down with 33 million shares on the 25th. So up on 13 million, down with 33. Again, more than likely, you are either hit a high or we've hit some kind of trading range in a lot of these stocks. Take a quick look at the stocks. Uh, Okay, SOXX. Well, you just touched this gap down from May 7th today. That was on a million shares. You got a million today, uh, but you did give most of it back. You gapped right through almost all of this gap down from the 13th of May that had 1.6 million shares. So, again, 1.1 you know, now. Could you get 1.6? You could. And not a lot going on. And again, uh, those funds that have been waiting to buy, probably not going to see those shares roll in till about 3.30 today. I don't think I'd want to get short and then hold it till 3.30. I think more than likely you're probably going to see uh, some of that cash come in before the end of the day. I don't know if it'll be a great deal, but uh, either later today or tomorrow, we'll probably see that fund money starting to find a home. We'll be back in just a minute. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And if you didn't catch it, Boeing uh, news kind of leaking out. I don't think Boeing put it out, but it eventually did get out uh, that uh, the software issues that they've been having uh, may have been part of a cost reduce, uh, reducing uh, scenario uh, where they offshored uh, that software to uh, India. And the market just didn't, you know, for what we had, it just wasn't uh, wanting to hear any more bad news from this company, uh, but you know you've you're it could be worse. Let me put it that way. Not a lot of juice on the downside so far today. Uh, 4.8 million shares. That's compared to the 9.2 million shares up on the 18th in this price range too. But again, uh, the whole thing is going to be when it's finally put to bed. We'll probably have uh, about it six months maybe. A half life of about six months until everybody moves on. Uh, but again, um, software probably not something you want to be outsourcing on an airplane. Um, you get too many cooks in the soup, too many people that don't talk to each other or even speak the same language uh, becomes problematic. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, first solar. Got a question about that. Okay. You did spike this, and this is what I'm talking about looking for in these reversement, uh, reversement, in reversals at these highs. Uh, 820,000 shares so far, uh, going through a 4.5 million share high for May 3rd, giving most of it back out here. You do need to close probably below 63.82, which is that May 3rd high. Um, you know, you had some decent volume of 1.7 million shares going into it. But especially with these stocks that tend to be fairly heavily shorted, you're looking for that. You're looking for something that spikes, doesn't last long, and then by the end of the day or the next day closes back into the trading range. Uh, these Companies, you know, any of the solar cell companies, as far as I'm concerned, don't exist, but the, at the largest of government agencies willing to give them money, um, solar cells are still somewhere between three and a half or four times more expensive than buying electricity uh, from coal or natural gas. So it, it isn't a good deal. Uh, you buy it for 10 years and they kind of make it look good. But uh, without local and federal subsidies, and of course, uh, a lot of these companies around the world, including Germany, which was on the forefront, have given up uh, going after these uh, solar cell contracts uh, and uh, giving cash away to the solar cell manufacturers uh, because uh, the cost really hasn't uh, appreciably dropped in the last few years of throwing all the cash at this market. Um, again, uh, I think a lot of these could, like in solar, first solar, drop in half 
in price. And I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, 35 bucks or 36 bucks again uh, in the next year or so for solar, depending on when this thing does roll over. But uh, a lot of, uh, of that green money uh, from government uh, is over in 2020. And I think it, there's been very little talk about it. Okay. Yeah, check on IBM real quick. Um, again, that's kind of what you're looking for. Uh, you've got light volume up off the May 31st low. You come back into the gap that had 12 and a half million shares down. You spiked it today with 2 million. You gave it all up. So again, this is a good time to start separating the wheat from the chaff in the market. You want to keep an eye on it. Okay. See it here. Still up uh, 12 and a half points on the S&P cash. Dow's uh, 30, up uh, 37. NASDAQ still up 59. Russell's off uh, three and four. And of course, Russell's probably going to be down just a little bit because uh, Russell's really the play on higher tariffs and more production at home. And a little bit of the tensions being released. Not surprising to see a little of the money coming out of that Russell 2000. Uh, okay, question about the SMHs, see if they look any different than the SOX. Um, kind of the same thing. Uh, one of the things that, I, that kind of bothers me is that you have kind of two really nice gaps open. You could almost count the third at 107 and today being the end of that gap. But you certainly got back in uh, to some days that had eh, 11, 12 million shares down today with up about uh, 7.4 million shares so far. But you hit resistance, and it is going to be diminishing returns going long until we break through the 120.71 high. Uh, let's take a quick look at AMD real quick. Then we'll look at NVIDIA. Again, a uh, little push, but not much in the way of volume. Uh, 50 million shares so far in AMD. Um, they've been, a lot of the people in the tech blogs have been flogging this. Uh, mostly they're just ticked off at Intel and are using their uh, bully pulpits to beat on Intel, probably deservedly. Uh, Intel finally went through this gap uh, that was down on almost 60 million shares on the 9th of May. It's into that with 17 million shares, gave it all back and reversed back out, 49.25. Again, I am not a fan of this uh, until they get a new CEO. But, you know, did it go from 43 bucks to 49? Yes. I just think that there were a lot better stocks out there. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. Um, a lot of new uh, stuff going on in them. Uh, probably won't hit till September. Uh, but, again... And a lot of things, Micron, some of the other stocks actually doing better. We'll look at Micron in a minute. Uh, same kind of thing. You had a gap up, uh, gave most of it back so far. Then it was called 14 million shares against uh, a 16 million share down day on the 13th of May. So you could probably get into that with 16 million shares. Not a bad volume day, but again, gave a great deal of that back. And the market's just kind of flat here. So, eh, not much to say on that. Okay, let me look through some of these other ones. I uh, got a question about restoration hardware on that. Only one day of window dressing left? No, that is incorrect. Uh, last two days of the month, first three days of the next month is what about 80% of the charters are. So expect fund buying to go through Wednesday. And then, uh, since we're going into it, you may even have it trickle out till Friday. So it's uh, it's last two month days, uh, trading days of the month and first three trading days of the next month. Just to be sure, uh, that's about 80% of the charters if you look in the ETFs and the other funds that do it. We'll be back in a minute.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And uh, I posted something in the den because I just had thought about it. It's from uh, John Templeton. A bull market begins on pessimism, grows on skepticism, matures on optimism, and dies on euphoria. And I guess earlier in the show, what I was trying to get to was there just isn't any euphoria on CNBC. Um, I watched a little bit of it this morning. Um, there are a lot of people saying the end of the world. And I would think a lot more about the end of the world if they weren't saying the end of the world. Uh, I always try to be uh, fearful when everybody's euphoric and uh, kind of euphoric when everybody's fearful. Um, I wouldn't say it's outright into the world stuff, but it, I hear a great deal of it. And it makes me think uh, when I hear a great deal of it, the opposite is just true. Kind of like uh, Micron when uh, um, just before earnings and everybody on Fast Money was telling you to sell it. And then when it popped, they told you to sell it again. Um, there's just a lot of that. Tesla Motors um, just banging up against this 245, uh, 240 area. Uh, I, like I said, that you want to probably be above that gap into the 245 area. But again, I think this thing could go sideways six, uh, three, six months before the next big leg down leg happens. Uh, that'll bore you out for a while. Let's take a look at that uh, Micron again. Um, 
another good gap, and you're keeping a great deal of it, which is probably it. You have two major gaps, and again, uh, I'd think a lot more on selling this thing on the next big gap higher. You got a two of the three gaps in a three gap play probably happening, and that could take you up to 44 bucks or 45, and that would be pretty stiff resistance at the same time. So if you were long, I'd probably hang on to it. Uh, that being said, sell when you can and not when you have to. And I'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.